Hello, hello. She a rebel. <laughs> she are those, <laughs> those two songs. Are there? those two songs? <laughs> We're total Swifties. It is known. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I'm Stephanie. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter account, subscribe and the like button. And welcome back, babe. Hello. I'm back. Yeah, you are. But I'm not watching a movie. <laughs> nope, we already did watch the movie. We did. Uh, when we watched the new 2023 film, whew, geez, Side A. We watched Side A. <laughs> <laughs> Sapta. Ugh, God. Just can you try the second? Sagaradache. Elo. Ah, I'm sorry. Teamwork. Side A. Uh, directed by. Hamanth. Rao. Uh, written by him as well. Uh, and starring. Shetty. Rakshit. Rakshit. Shetty. Shetty. And uh, I believe this was, was this the girl? Brita? Was she the main girl? Yeah. Okay. Priya. What's her name? Rukmini Yasanth. I don't know, guys. Yeah. Uh, and so it just came out. Um, and the reason I'm doing with this with Steph, a um, couple of reasons, but Rick did not like this movie. Basically, what he said was, I thought it was fine, didn't really like it, wouldn't recommend it, wasn't really interested. If you would like to know more of his thoughts, you can ask him. I'm not going to speak for him. Uh, but that's basically what he said. Uh, and I wanted to talk to it uh, with someone who also loved it. I like Spoiler! Uh, <laughs> to what we thought about it, because... When Rick, when, uh, Rick told me that, I had the exact opposite reaction to this movie. Uh, I, we really, really enjoy this movie. Uh, and so this will be, it, it's already been out, and it's now on OTTs, and the uh, part B is coming out soon. So this is just going to be spoiler talk. Um, so if you haven't watched it, just know we loved it. Go watch it, please. Come back. It's a love story of sorts. <laughs> without giving anything else away if you haven't seen it <laughs> a lot of love is in it but tragedy as well yeah. I would say uh, at least some, uh, is, some. is involved there um, but so if you haven't watched please go watch it's on Amazon yes it's on Amazon so please go watch it on Amazon uh, babe what did you think I what? really enjoyed it mm -hmm. I mean it was, it was very engaging and, um, okay, Colin. Sorry, our dog is in the room. <laughs> and I didn't, I mean, I didn't feel like there was a, a dull moment. I, I was engaged the whole time and um, I thought it was beautiful and heartbreaking at the same time. So, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I felt the exact same way. There's very few flaws uh, that I saw in this film or like parts that I just didn't like. Uh, there was no parts that I didn't like. There were some flaws in, in some like um, basically the only flaws I saw were obviously some CGI stuff when once again, this is spoilers. So if, if you are here still and you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Uh, like when the guy got hit, it was evident that it was just CGI guy kind of get, gets hit with the car uh and then also some of the fight scenes it's clear they didn't have the budget to like really make it look like uh even though i thought the end like where he was, <laughs> he was really wailing on that guy at the end there um was was good um the those were basically like the the budgetary constraints that this film would have or the basically the flaws i saw in the film other than that i was not bored i loved them uh, I was engaged immediately with their story. I thought they did a good job at the beginning of literally, because it, it goes pretty fast in terms of like 
what happens to him. Yeah. Fast. Like, that's what the story's about. Yeah. So they have to establish their relationship, like, right off the bat. And you have to feel something for them yeah. or it's going to be lost. And because they're together such a short amount of time. So if you don't establish that and believe them, yeah, you're not going to you're not going to believe the rest of it. Exactly. And I thought they did a great job with that, uh, the direction of it um, and the writing. I think they had great chemistry. It felt, it was apparent that their story was believable, like right off the bat. Absolutely. The uh, the two leads I thought did a really good job. I agree. Their chemistry was, was really, really good. Really riveting. Um, great writing in terms of like their love story, their, their, their build up and their chemistry. To, uh, they're like, um, quirky playfulness together mm. i mean <laughs> it's not for everybody but uh her calling him an idiot all the time and <laughs> that's her pet name for uh him. <laughs> him kind of you know pushing her buttons and it was very real in terms of their relationship i, I liked it a lot um and you, like when they just looked at each other and stared at each other i thought and there was a bunch of really cute moments yeah. even before they got to the the him going to prison mm. um I just, I, I was really enjoying them together. It was actually sad when they, <laughs> I was like, okay, they're not going to be together anymore. Yeah. Because uh, they're going to be in jail. Yeah. Because uh, I was enjoying just the, I was like, I want kind of like the, almost the um, rom-com version yeah, of this. Because yeah. I liked them together a lot. Um, I thought they had a lot of really cute moments. Um, and and uh, I believed the, the whole buildup of it in terms of um, why he, why he would choices. do it. Yeah. Because, I mean, I don't agree with his choice of not discussing it with her. And there's obviously lots that could go wrong. <laughs> like, he just took the guy at his word in terms of, like, you'll be out in six months. And so is whatever amount of money they – it's all in Ruby, so it's over my head. But I'm assuming a lot of money, right? Yeah. That it changes his life, kind of a lower class life, right? Yeah. Of – for them and they could buy a house on the beach like he wants he just he really just wants to make her happy make her life easy yeah. and for them to just live their life together forever uh which is a relatable thing yeah. <laughs> um but so you understood that i didn't i mean i didn't agree with the fact that he was like didn't tell her <laughs> <laughs> like i was like just just talk to her she seems like she'd be like you can at least obviously she would probably say no it's like obviously shouldn't but it's better than not saying anything <laughs> yeah here just here's a bag of money by the way i'm going to jail now <laughs> yeah see you in six months hopefully uh, uh and maybe it would have worked out maybe it wouldn't have obviously if that guy didn't die yeah but you still don't know with the justice system i mean because what that guy did and i'm assuming we're, they're gonna go a little more uh, no he got out sorry um like the fact that he went over him and then backed back into him. It wasn't just an accident. Yeah. It was manslaughter, um, like a homicide. Um, so obviously he didn't know that, though. And he wasn't really paying attention in court because he, he kept wanting to um, he was completely see, distracted, yeah. see her. Um, but I believed it, um, that whole scenario. Yeah. And uh, some of the jail stuff was really, really gross. Yes. Oh, it was heart. It was heartbreaking. Awful. Yeah, and they gave him a lot of really. The actors I thought did a really good job in terms of once again their chemistry was just off the charts. Um, every time where they at the jail, but also they had really great moments of I thought it was a great choice to right when they, he saw her for the first time, when they were able to talk. Mm -hmm. All the sound went away except for what she was saying. Yeah, I thought that was, was great. Uh, I really enjoyed that moment, uh, and I thought it was a great choice. Mm, I agree. Um, also, um, when when uh, he was like listening to the shell, and he faded into being on her lap, mm -hmm. and then was jolted out of it, and was reminded he was still in jail. Like, oh. It was just so sad, but it yeah. was so well done. It was just yeah. Was so both good. the actors I thought did a superb job, and I don't know. Like I think he's been in a few other things. Like, oh, the is this the Tiger one? That oh, he was in Seven 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 Charlie, which is like 
it looked like it was like a Marley and me because it was about a dog and stuff like that. And so, <laughs> um, oh, is this is the uh, God Uldalvaru Kandathi? Is that the one where they did the 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 tiger dance? Not the uh, uh, not the one that was last year, the GGG one, the um, like the first tiger dance one that we saw. I feel like um, let me just look up our review here, and then I will know. Yes. Yes, that was that one. We, so we've we've seen that one. Okay. Uh, it was it was kind of gangsterish, but uh, mm-hmm. there's a lot going on in that film, from what I remember. Uh, but he was in that, I guess. Uh, but she, she, her, I just didn't recognize from anything. She didn't seem familiar to me, but she was really good. She was great. Uh, I believed her agony that she was having, her sad depression. Yeah. Um, and then also just trying to be strong yeah. and wait for him and, 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 and fight for him, but also, um, and then when... Having she, the family be like, at some point, you got to let it go. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously the Indian culture aspect of, yeah, get married to... I know you just lost all of your life, but get married! <laughs> I will say, though, that scene um, after he's been sentenced and she's getting married and they're cutting between mm-hmm. her wedding and when he just is like, why, why do I it's care like anymore? And then he people. just like goes crazy, like for them to cut those together, like yeah. they're right on top. Of, oh, my gosh. That was an excellent decision as well. It was so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um... And it was actually kind of, I think, subtle most of, a lot of the times, the, the score behind it. But I thought the score was really nice. There was, like, two songs, I think, all together. Not, like, dance songs, but there was, like, overture songs, right? Uh, which I thought were, were really nice. Um, I just thought the direction of it was really good. I thought the pacing of it was really good. I was never bored in yeah. this at all. Um, I was, like, uh, I, was, I wanted to watch Part B immediately. immediately. One, because <laughs> of the way they, like... Oh, the way they left like, it, yeah. Yeah. Um, one, these people that you wanted to be this whole time, she's presumably married. Obviously, it's 10 years, so you, who knows what happened. Because yeah. she ans- sh- it ends with, like, she answers the door. Right, it's supposed to be, like, after the wedding and, he like, her groom has come. Yeah, but we didn't see who it was. Right. And he just got and, out. And the face that she made was not... Yeah. But it was... Was that after right after the wedding? It wasn't 10 years? No, it okay. was right after the wedding. They did show some of the stuff. He looks... Bulked up in this. Uh, obviously, had ten years in jail. I'm guessing. Mm. Obviously, so it was a good transformation. It didn't even look like the same guy. Yeah, he cut his hair. Like, yeah, everything. Uh, which is sad because I actually thought he. Yeah, he his hair so good with was, his hair. Uh, yeah. It was really good in the first one. Um, I'm interested to see what they're gonna do with it um, because it's like a sad ending. Yeah. Uh, and how they're not together anymore, uh, and she's at least married now, moved on, yeah. emotionally moved on. Obviously, probably not if you're that in love and yeah. he was tragically just taken from you and you were married, somebody just out of an arranged marriage. You're not just going <laughs> to probably give up your yeah. your true love. Uh, ask Buttercup. Um, please tell me you get that reference. Uh, but to see what's going to happen in the next part. And um, thankfully, we don't have to wait like a year. It just comes out at the end of the month. Yeah. Uh, we probably won't. Well, we'll probably have to wait longer than that because we won't get it in theaters probably again because we didn't get it, the first one in theaters here. Um, so we probably have to wait for it to go to streaming again. But I'm super interested to see what they do with it. Are they going to end up together? Is it just going to be this tragedy? Yeah. I don't know. Obviously, you hope they're going to end up together, but that's a yeah. long time. Yeah. That's 10 years. And obviously, in Indian culture, she's married now. Yeah. At least well, was. And also... Is he dead? The guy, what was the guy? The guy now has lost his hearing and he's out as well. So obviously there's going to be like some bad blood outside of jail now mm-hmm. that obviously they're going to fight. Yeah, he's going to have a record and he doesn't have uh, like that big powerful man to stick up for him anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, is he going to take legal action again? I don't... Obviously, my thing is mostly about are they going to get back together? Yeah. Uh, how? Who was who was at the door? Because we didn't. But also, like, 
the guy that was supposed to be his friend at work who screwed him over, I'm like, you should have just stuck up your end of the deal because now he's out and he's tough guy now and he's coming for you. Yeah. You got to wonder what's going to happen with all of that. I was, I'm assuming that that guy that died had a heart attack or whatever was actually going to hold up his end of the bargain because I was always afraid that he was just going to... Well, even his wife said we have to uphold what he says until his so he, he was friend. the guy that actually had the integrity, I guess. Yeah. Um, and nobody else in his family does. Yeah. <laughs> wife included. Because <laughs> I guess she wanted to protect her son. I guess that's how you do it. But now he's out and you didn't treat him how you said you were going to treat him. That seems like far worse than to have just kept up your end of the deal yeah and are like if they meet up again which obviously i'm assuming they will <laughs> it'd be weird not to in this part b <laughs> um are they the same people anymore yeah do i mean i'm assuming they'll still have hopefully have that chemistry um but i mean 10 years in jail is probably gonna change you some yeah and i'm i, I tend to think that she didn't get married like he called it off, or he died. Maybe his or... his brother really told her that he called. Maybe even I don't. Though... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, because it couldn't be him. Because that was right after. Know. That was right it after her wedding, right? That was, yeah, that's what that it was. Wouldn't have been him. Um, because it happened the same day as he got sentenced. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I. Man, I, I I really really enjoyed it. Um, as much as you can enjoy a tragic, yeah, film like this, I thought a lot of the I thought I thought every supporting actor did a really good job as well. Um, even they like the oh the when they had to clean the toilets that was really gross. Um, like the guy that he thought was his friend and then turned on him once he figured out he couldn't get anything from him anymore, and then the other guy that the other gang I guess leader. Uh, I liked him. He had a he had a nice yeah. sensibility about him. His friend in jail that helped him out. Obviously, the whole scene where um, he was listening to her mixtape oh was heartbreaking and sad. Um, and that his friend was able to save it for him, so he's been able to have that. Yeah. So um, one of my favorites of the year, uh, in terms of, uh, Indians films that have come out this year. Um, I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was really well done. Um, and I'm super looking forward to part two. Side B. Side B. Sorry. Uh, which I believe comes out October 28th. Once again. Even if we it, it does come to theaters, I since I'm going to watch it with Steph now. We uh, have three. We children. have three children and no grandparents or, or babysitters, so I don't really have the option. But also, we didn't get it here in LA last time, so I doubt we're going to get the second part if we didn't get the first part. It's just that's not really how that works, unfortunately. But uh, maybe uh, maybe we'll do a watch along of it if uh, who who knows when it comes out. Obviously, but. Um, I really enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought about the film. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't like it, it like uh, like uh, I believe uh, Rick said as well, um, you uh, let us know why you're mental mentally challenged uh, down in the comments below, uh, and why you hate love. Because <laughs> I don't know, uh, <laughs> but I we really enjoyed it. Let us know what the uh, next Canada because obviously this is one of the first Canada films we saw this year. Uh, so we need to get to a lot more. Let us know what the next Canada film we should be uh, and what should be the next watch along we should do with Steph down below. Yeah.